Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and I just got done uh, about an hour ago or so doing a Facebook Live video sharing with you my favorite detailing brushes for detailing for interiors. And uh, I was getting my own car cleaned up, and I was like, I never mentioned tire and wheel brushes. And I feel like that is a, um, a very frequently asked question. What is a good detail brush for wheels, for tires? What do you guys use? So for those of you who enjoy doing tires and wheels, I am not one of those people. I, I do not enjoy doing tires and wheels. Um, a lot of times it comes down to chemicals and also brushes. So if you have good brushes, it can make a tedious job less tedious. So I wanted to share with you guys, maybe we can zoom in here a little bit. So this is the, uh, the tire and wheel brushes that I will predominantly use for detailing. So here we have the easy detail brushes of different sizes. We have, we have wheel wells and you need to get in here. I like the fact that it has this rounded tip. It's a little flat because of how I've stored it. But you can get in here and get wheel wells really well. When it comes to wheel wells, a lot of people will use a brush like this. This is just a Chemical Guys long handled wheel well brush. Let me zoom back so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, and what they'll do is they'll just kind of come in here and agitate. And oftentimes you have this plastic piece right here that you, you could, you know, scratch something. If you're banging around, it's hard. So when you have a brush like this, you know, you have all surfaces are a brush. You can just get in there. So when it comes to wheel wells, this is my favorite brush. This is an easy detail brush. I will use that oftentimes over, you know, kind of a long handled. Once I found this, I really don't pull this one out much. Uh, maybe every now and then. Um, you know, if I have a really grimy job, I might pull this out because it's a little bit more um, aggressive than the bristles on this. These are a lot more sensitive, but these are predominantly the two brushes that I will use for wheel wells, for trucks, for, you know, engine bays, long reach type of things. So when it comes to wheels, a lot of times people will reach for either something like this. This is a wheel woolly. Uh, this is actually a microfiber Wooly that uh, I was sent from Luxury Microfiber to test out. I've been using this for a couple weeks now, really enjoying this. Um, to compare and contrast, so a lot of times these are kind of your choices when it comes to getting in between your spokes and getting your inner barrels of your wheels. And each one, I think, kind of serves its purpose. And obviously, they have bigger size wheel woolies, uh, you know, or microfiber woolies. So, uh, you know, in just thinking out loud, of the contrast. Obviously, these are going to be more abrasive. You know, they're going to potentially scratch finishes, but they are a lot more durable. They don't show staining as much. You know, these can kind of, you can see here, can kind of hold on to dirt a little bit, but they also absorb soap a lot. So there's more lubrication. So it kind of, you know, negates the potential risk. I, I didn't rinse this out after I used it and I had it in a kind of in a dirty bucket. So that's why there's so much dirt. But this, you know, you can see it still has soap from when I used it. This, absolutely none. It, you know, it's just, it's just basically what little soap might cling to the brushes and it's going to scrub. It can get, uh, you know, miss some spots. I have noticed that with these easy detail brushes, sometimes if you have really heavily soiled, uh, you know, inner spokes or whatever, it, you know, you might have an inconsistent finish. So what I'll have to do is kind of come in here and go in and then go side to side just to try to get a more sufficient, you can see here, and I'll just kind of go like this side to side and back and forth. Whereas something like this, I can just come in here, go side to side. I'm being a lot more gentle. You can see it even still has soap on it and we're still putting soap down. So I feel like these are very thorough the only downfall or, or you know, negation that I would find to something like this long term is obviously it's not going to be as durable. But if you have sensitive wheels, if you have expensive, you know, maybe aftermarket wheels that you want to take care of, I would say something like this is going to be a fantastic option for you. If you've got kind of a daily driver, you know, you've got standard stock wheels, you just want to make sure they're clean, you know, they're thoroughly and you want a brush that's going to stand up to the test of time. That's where I would say these easy detail brushes, you're going to get a lot more value from something like this, but you're not going to get as much care as you would from something like this. So just two kind of things to note. When it comes to wheel faces, there's a lot of options out there. 
So again, this is kind of the, the uh, chemical guys. This is their wheel face brush. It's a soft tip one. You can see the tips are kind of uh, flagged off and, and it's gonna be a little bit less abrasive on your wheel faces. The one that I've actually been really enjoying, I picked this up. This is a rag company brush. I will actually use this sometimes for bug removal and it doesn't scratch paint. So if you know it doesn't scratch paint, um, the fact that it is so soft, you can see just a comparative difference in the two. This one is obviously more dense, compact. This one just has a little bit more give, but it is actually really soft on the hand. And when you have proper lubrication, this brush is fantastic on wheel faces. You can get into even your lug nut areas with ease. You don't necessarily have to buy a specific lug nut brush to go after those difficult areas. So when it comes to tires, you know, obviously I'm a huge fan of the, the Tough Shine tire brushes. I will use these for carpets. I'll use these for tires. They're just fantastic. I like the long handle. A lot of the coarse brushes, they don't have a long enough handle. This, I'm not going to brush, you know, scuff up my hand. It's abrasive enough to clean a tire, but it's not going to mar it. It's not going to scratch it. You want something that has more grit, but do not use these on your wheel faces. Please, I see people <laughs> at the car washes using something like this on their wheel faces. Please do not use a tire brush on your wheel faces unless you want really scratched wheels. So when it comes to tires and wheels, hopefully that helps some of you guys out. This doesn't have to be an exhaustive list. This isn't every single tire and wheel brush out there, but I wanted to kind of include some of these uh, exterior brushes that we might use for detailing. Again, a lot of these can be used in nooks and crannies, engine bays. Um, if you, you know, have uh, tight nooks and crannies on the exterior, maybe if you have a truck bed and you need to get down between the bed and the window, you could use something gentle like this to kind of get in those tight spaces. It has a nice long handle. It's sturdy. It hasn't bent on me. It may feel a little flimsy, but it actually, you could come in and bend this if you need to get behind your wheel spokes. So I actually have really enjoyed this. Meet, thanks for sending this out to me to try. Uh, it's definitely come in handy on several details I've had recently, and especially on my husband's new uh, expensive wheels. Uh, this has definitely come in handy. But um, yeah, when it comes to wheels, tires, you know, it doesn't have to be a difficult process but the right brush can make it a whole lot easier and based on you know your kind of needs um, hopefully this kind of helps answer that question for any of you that are looking for quality tire and wheel detailing brushes I'm gonna put the links to all of these down below to the ones that I you know definitely hit recommend I would say these easy detail brushes I picked this up the whole kit from a 37 very affordable for the fact that they're gonna last you years it's uh, a microfiber wheel woolly from uh, Luxury Microfiber. Fantastic, especially for sensitive wheels. And then we have our Chemical Guys wheel face brushes. You can use these for truck bed liners, wheel wells, wheel faces. But then again, we have our Rag Company wheel brush. It's actually safe for paint as well. And then our tie brush. So there you have it, guys. We're going to move on this detail. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and we will see you guys in the next video make sure you subscribe and follow we've got a phenomenal giveaway coming up like seriously you're going to want to share this post just so other people stay tuned we've got a phenomenal giveaway coming up to celebrate us approaching 7,000 subscribers so thank you for those of you who have followed over the length of time that we've been on youtube and hopefully uh we'll be able to continue to con you know knock out solid content for you guys to learn have fun and be educated from all right, have a great day, guys. God